So today I happen to be working over at 20th Century Fox, which is another one of the great studios we have here in Hollywood. So I thought I'd give you a bird's eye view, a little tour. Now the first thing you see is the commissary. Those green umbrellas are the outdoor eating area. And now you see the sound stages. The Fox Studio lot is really big. It used to be a lot bigger, but they sold the back lot off years ago and it became uh, Century City. Uh, but 20th Century and the Fox Film Corporation merged in the 1930s and became 20th Century Fox, one of the oldest studios in Hollywood. And uh, they were the first to use the CinemaScope widescreen film process that we all know and love. It really is uh, quite a lot here. You can see the uh, Simpsons painted on the side of this sound stage here. Julie Andrews in the background from The Sound of Music. That's the Fox Plaza that you remember from Die Hard. And over here on stage 21, which is hopping today, they've got Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader battling it out on the side. And uh, over in the Fox store, they've got, of course, lots of Star Wars merchandise, uh, action figures and clocks and magnets and bobbleheads and coffee mugs and more coffee mugs and lunch boxes and keychains and tote bags and family guy stuff. But there's more than just Star Wars here. There's the Futurama table read happening in the Xanic Theater. I'm going to let you uh, guess whose hand that is holding that donut. Don't! And this wonderful old building is the Hall of Music. And there's a lot of structures here on the lot just like this. I mean, look at these stages. Very Art Deco, very 1930s, and they look brand new. You'd almost expect to see Betty Grable or Gregory Peck walking through the door on their way to work here. And this, uh, this building is the Writer's Building, and there's a wonderful plaque on the side of it, and it reads, To the motion picture writers, the supreme storytellers of the 20th century, this building is dedicated. Fox Film Corporation, Sidney R. Kent, President. 1932. And I think that really about sums it all up. This wonderful studio that's had such a legacy of great films that have inspired so many people uh, and another generation of screenwriters and filmmakers, and maybe you're among them. Uh, 20th Century Fox, one of the great Hollywood studios.